if me no he had not, if me Aquino had not encouraged violence, he possibly would have. Uh, First Lady met with Aquino in the United States. What was the result of that meeting? Well, the, the result was uh, the uh, First Lady obtained a promise from Aquino that he would not hurt uh, our son. That was the primary purpose of that meeting. The uh, FBI had reported that uh, there were people who were surveilling my son and uh, apparently they had uh, intentions to harm the uh, young boy in Wharton School of Finance. And uh, the mother is a mother. He first thought of her son, more than anybody else. And uh, so she sought out Aquino and uh, told him uh, exactly uh, what he, she felt about uh, this. Because uh, Aquino had told her that she, he was obligated to her for helping uh, him out in, uh, during uh, his period of crisis when he had uh, those hard problems. Do you think he still has political ambitions? He says he has not. I do not know what to believe about him. Would you be happy to see him return to the Philippines? I uh, don't think he is all that uh, important in the sense that right now he has um, eroded his uh, support because of his uh, encouragement of violence in the uh, country. Martial law was introduced largely because of violence in the Philippines. Are you confident that violence won't break out again with the end of martial law? No, I don't believe so. First of all, um, you must remember that uh, before martial law, the uh, local uh, governments were impotent. But now uh, we have organized the barangays, uh, the lowest uh, political unit, and they have their self-defense uh, units if necessary. They um, can defend themselves, and uh, they, are, they have their tunnels or their peacekeeping uh, groups, or militia type or self-defense unit type. They don't need to call upon the armed forces or the police. They can defend and protect themselves. At the same time, um, we have the barangays uh, so organized that uh, everybody would know what each one is uh, doing. It's not that they are spying on each other, but everybody is now a civic-minded person, with the exception of some, I suppose. Because there have been the bombings at the end of last year, for example. Because they uh, have uh, suffered from all kinds of uh, viciousness and uh, violence, and they're sick and tired of, uh, of violence. Similarly, strikes have been banned. Do you think this could be a problem when they're permitted? No, no, no. Strikes are not bad, except uh, in the vital industries. And even in the vital uh, industries, under certain conditions, strikes are uh, allowed. What do you think will be the most difficult part about a return to parliamentary democracy? The most difficult uh, part is, uh, first of all, uh, to uh, uh, bring about uh, a... Um, uh, an opposition party that is responsible. Now, that, that's very difficult because I cannot do anything about it except to encourage the opposition to organize and set up uh, a, a group that uh, can stand up in the uh, National Assembly and question the, the actuations of uh, the men in power. Who do you think might be the most challenging opposition when elections come? Well, frankly, I don't know. It's a toss-up among all of them. They, uh, they have been uh, fragmented uh, in the last uh, few years. They're all um, uh, egoistic individuals, I presume, like most uh, politicians. And uh, nobody seems to give away, or want to give away to anybody. I cannot uh, say right now who will grab the leadership of uh, the opposition. Nini Aquino had not encouraged violence. He possibly would have uh, 
grabbed it from Jerry uh, Rojas. But right now, it's uh, the principal candidate is Jerry Rojas, the president of the Liberal Party. Well, actually, I never talk about my war years. Uh, of course, you're proud of having fought for the country. But as my grandfather, who was a revolutionary, said, it's much easier to fight a uh, war than to run a government. And I would like to be known as the thinker who changed uh, the country, uh, not only its institutions, but changed the attitude of our people, changed its politics, changed its ideals, and um, motivated the people into uh, um, helping themselves instead of dependent, depending upon uh, others and accepting their weaknesses and deficiencies, rectifying them, strengthening themselves in their own efforts. Is there one single thing that's disappointed you more than anything else? Well, um, I guess uh, it would be uh, uh, the uh, fact that uh, <laughs> some of those whom I uh, depended upon, uh, friends, uh, uh, turned out to be scoundrels. <laughs> so, those, are, those are some of the most disappointing things that uh, happens to one. And one last question. What gives you the most pleasure in life? The most pleasure in life is, uh, first of all, to... Um, see my dreams come true and transmit those same dreams to the next generation so they don't die. That would be the pleasure that I would like to see occur in my life. Thank you for watching. For more information, you can visit our website bagonglipunan.com, subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter and Instagram.